Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. This is my 3,000 subscriber special. Uh, I was going to say 3,000k, but that would be... Well, let's do the quick maths. 3,000, thousand, three million. So maybe in the future we'll do another one for 3,000k. But this is going to be um, a room tour or uh, a setup tour, I guess. And I'll show you guys exactly... Um, the, the specs of my computer and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Thank you so much for uh, 3,000 uh, subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it. Apparently, I can't turn it around, or is it that button to turn it around? I really don't know. Um, that doesn't seem to work. So I'll see you guys in a second. Now, just a disclaimer, I've never done one of these videos before particularly, so, and yes, I didn't empty me, me bin. Keep calm and bin it. There you go. Uh, there's the door. It's got a lock on it now, so when I'm streaming, I'm not interrupted. Um, and this is my chest of drawers. It's a little bit wonky, but on top of it, you've got the uh, Toy Story display, so you can see potato heads. You've got a couple of woodies dotting about. You've got Slinky, Rex. Rex, I got that for Christmas off the missus. So uh, we've got Bullseye, who doesn't like standing up very much so yeah, we just leave the legs down the side and then we've got uh, Lotso there as well who does actually smell of strawberries which is cool we've got Zerg in the back background and a couple of buzzers there as well and Miss, uh, a mirror for when the missus is here um, and yes you see a James Bond canvas there there's outside I'll show you my car in a second there's uh, Dr. No it's a a movie canvas it's pretty cool actually um, and then we've got some James Bond figures up here uh, you've got the likes of well that's actually Jack Bauer you've got odd job it's very difficult to get lighting up here but hey ho you've got Sean Connery in uh, Thunderball you've got George Lazenby um, Blofeld Telly Savalas uh, you've got Roger Moore and uh, Chris Valley as Francisco Scaramanga uh, and you come outside there's my little car there um, and then you've got the green screen on the floor I'm not entirely sure if you guys can see that but here it is right here um, and it's retractable I'm not gonna push it up or anything like that but this is the, the probably the coolest section of the room you've got a limited edition uh, movie fil film or I don't know what it's called film cell there you go from die another day in 2002 44 of a thousand, pretty cool. You got a couple of Splinter Cell figures and Hitman himself just sat in the middle. You've got me bus collection. If you if you guys want to have a look, uh, feel free. They're all one to one to seventy six. I want to say something like that uh, scale. You've got a couple of Formula One cars, a couple of Bond cars there, more buses and some trophies. I have won a wash bag for when I go away. Um, got a bus that I've got for a present for someone and me safe. Um, so that is just a generic football trophy. That is for being chess champion. That is for winning the Governor's Cup for math mathematics at my school. Um, you've got um, save of the season at my primary. You've got uh, cricket captain of the year and cricketer of the year for my school as well. So yeah, and then you've got the games. All of the games, really, really happy with this shelf. It's all in alphabetical order. If you guys want to uh, pause it and see which games I own, then feel free. Uh, we'll just scan down. You've got Splinter Cell, Double Agent, Collector's Tin there. Some PSP games. You've got a couple of Blacklist uh, steel cases. And you've also got uh, Conviction there as well. Try and focus it a bit better. PS3 games, you've got the Ultimatum Edition, a PS1 game lurking up here because it doesn't fit down here with the PS2 games and PS1. Some PC games here as well, going into PS2. Some DVDs. Let me know if any of you guys have seen these before. Some CDs there. If you're really good, you'll be able to work out uh, exactly what they say. You've got a Splinter Cell 5th Freedom Edition, right down there, a couple of books. James Bond and 24 collections there. Again, we've got some sideshow James Bond figures here. First of all, you've got, uh, I think it's H. Samuel, um, a James Bond 
Meerkat, you've got Zhao from Die Another Day, you've got Sean Bean uh, or Alex Trevelyan or Alec from uh, Goldeneye, Goldeneye James Bond, you've got On the Top, uh, you've got James Bond from Die Another Day, you've got Jinx, Dr. No and Sean Connery, a few uh, Corgi James Bond cars there as well, you've got Q, probably my favourite figure, uh, Timothy Dalton from Licence to Kill, um, you got Sanchez from Licence to Kill as well, uh, Roger Moore from Live and Let Die, T. He, um, James Bond from Moonraker, and you've got Richard Keel as Jaws there in the selection of cars from the James Bond films. Up here, just a generic toy shelf, you've got a Darth Vader uh, radio alarm clock there, you've got some Toy Story stuff again, you've got the Stig up there, uh, a couple of H uh, HM Armed Forces figures, which are cool. Um, and just some generic toys and a limited edition Sean Connery drawn there. You've got my 49 inch sharp 4K TV. We're watching the Formula One currently. Australian Grand Prix, so you can probably gather when this was recorded Sunday, whatever it is of March. And then you have the setup. Shall we try and get some decent light in here? It is very difficult on the iPhone 6. To, to actually do this. So you've got PS4 Pro with a vertical stand that has fans. You've got my monitor. Uh, I don't know the specs of that. <laughs> it's probably 1080p. Really don't know. Uh, I've got a second monitor which is a, just a 19 inch portable TV. Uh, right, let's try that again. Sorry, uh, it cut out there. But uh, as I said, we've got the PS4 Pro um, vertical stand with cooling station. It's also got uh, some docking space for your controller, you've got a PS3 controller there, this is the, the TV remote for the shop if you're interested in that. Um, we've also got a Surface Pro over here which I use for my work and also playing uh, some Football Manager when I'm away from home. Um, this is a lamp that I use to light up the bottom of the green screen, as you can see it's got varying levels of brightness um, it's pretty cool, only a tenner on Amazon, so very, very nice indeed. USB charged as well. Uh, I've got my pop filter and the microphone. By the way, I've listened to the, the audio from the last um, little bits, and yeah, I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it works. Um, I haven't got a proper sort of logging mic, if you like. Um, I've got my keyboard here, three colours. Uh, if you press this one here changes colours of the keys, but uh, you know, nothing too special there. you got um, some of my uni work down there, you've got the actual uh, computer itself, I'll leave the specs for this down in the description. Uh, gaming PC, it's about three year old now, got it off eBay, not second hand, I got it uh, actually built for me, um, so it's pretty good specs, it still holds up and still plays games fairly decently. Um, I've also got these headphones, I should probably talk about them, Philips headphones, uh, $14.99 on Amazon um, for both the TV, uh, which is up there, and also the computer. Um, so yeah, got two sets of headphones, got a, a Canon printer down there, it's been pretty good but I've had some problems with it recently, um, but it's an all-in-one, I've had it about five five years maybe maybe four years something like that um but they've done it's done me decently um got a little whiteboard up here you can see i've got some uh little reminders for us there and uh, this is a take that uh calendar you can see uh howard strutting his stuff there if you go under there you've then got gary uh, do, doing his business you got a rimney postcard there went to rimney last year with the missus we've got a little Fridge magnet and Imola when I went to the Imola circuit last year as well. Got a little beer map there. Um, there was something I did want to tell you about, but can't remember. <laughs> uh, you got the PS3 hiding just under there, um, if you can see. You got a PS1 and a PS2 as well for playing those retro games. But apart from that, I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, that is the room tour. I've also got this chair. It doesn't usually have a dressing gown on the back of it, but um, it's a GT Omega uh, or GT Force chair. It's very, very good. I think it was about 90 quid from Amazon. 
um, and served me very very well indeed and yeah I think that is where we're gonna leave this off so I'll now go into the outro we've also got a Logitech um, webcam here C920 and a little desk lamp to light up the back so it lights up my face very very budget ways of lighting up things around here and this is something <laughs> the missus got me um, from uh, when she was in the Lake District, a cool little shop. There seems to be no sign of uh, intelligent life anywhere. So that's Buzz Lightyear. Really, really cool um, little coaster there. And I'll see you guys in the outro. So there you have it then. That is my room tour. Sorry that the quality is, isn't is brilliant. Um, there's only so much you can do on an iPhone. Um, and it actually filled me storage the, the first five minutes of this. So, yeah, sorry about the nervousness as well or awkwardness i don't know how sort of easy this has been to watch but uh that is a, a tour of my room as as i said the the um specs will be down below in the description for you guys to have a look so thank you very much for 3000 subscribers really really appreciate it make sure you leave a like if you have enjoyed this and if you've got any questions about the setup please let me know and i'll try and explain it as best as i can i hope you guys are having a wonderful day Thanks for watching and goodbye.